Hey y'all. So I have this chisel set that I picked up from an, an estate sale and I wanted to build a holder for it. I'm in the process of building out a, a sort of hand tool wall and wanted to create kind of a nice place to put them. So I'm using just a, a slab of oak flooring, kind of a, this old wide plank oak flooring. It's got some nice um, character to it. And the pieces are really simple. You can see that cutting them down and I'm just going to cut them down, put it back on it and glue this together to start. Um, of course, route some nice chamfered edges, give it a, a, a little bit of a better look. But it's a pretty simple project and it's also kind of unnecessarily, for being a simple project, it's a little bit unnecessarily complex to be just a, a chisel holder. Uh, you could create something far more simple and works really well. Um, it could be more efficient too. But I, I moved, um, we moved uh, a, a few months well, back last fall. And so I've been in a new shop um, trying to build this garage out and putting a lot of work into trying to get it ready to, to build something. So I hadn't built actually anything in a while. And I kind of was just aching to build something, and this was just a good project. So routing out the back, because I'm just going to put a piece of half inch ply as the back. Um, so routing it close to the edges and then you know, chiseling them square. This is one of the, the things that I don't know, it's, it's sort of a, a philosophical sort of idea of, hey, if I create a nice home for these tools, I should be better about putting them back where they go and not having tools strewn out across the shop. So we'll see it. We'll see how well that actually works, but you know, it's a nice idea anyway. <laughs> so to hold these, it's pretty straightforward, I'm just creating, um, using some Forstner bits. Uh, I think I use about three different sizes based on the sizes of the chisels that I have. And it's always good with Forstner bits, of course, you wanna pre-drill a small hole and that gives you a guide for where to drill in from both sides. And that way you don't get tear out by coming in and drilling from both sides. And then once you've got the holes in place, you cut the openings for them. And I didn't get these exact, I just was sort of eyeballing this until they looked right and made sure that all the chisels fit in and were able to get in well, so that was fine. I'm making this a little bit sort of an arts and crafts style, so creating some corbels here. Corbels? I think that's what they're called. <laughs> and again, this is really simple. I, I'm not doing um, any fancy joinery. Everything's gonna be glued to start and then once it's all put together, I'll come back and add some dowels to it for for joint strength, but you know, this doesn't have to hold up to anything, and it was a simple way to put it together. So, gluing it to the back and clamping that in place, let that set up a little bit and then glue on those corbels. As you'll see, I, I, as I said, it's really not the most efficient chisel holder. I think you can make a, a simpler one, that uh, you know, a longer one that holds 
additional tools as well, other carving chisels perhaps, or other things. But it's a fun build. Some of these fun uh, little builds that you can sort of knock out uh, in a weekend or, or half a weekend is fun. So I'm adding some dowels here for strength. I did measure them out so at least they look, if you're looking at it, um, they look symmetrical. They look like they're intentional. I'll flush cut these off and do the top as well. I did uh, one into the side, one into the corbel. So cut these off and then pair them off with the chisel and that's about it. It's pretty straightforward. Like I said, this is part of what I hope will become a larger tool wall that I'm, uh, I'll build a couple pieces towards um, over the next few months. I'll just hang this straight on the wall. To finish it off I used some transtent dye. Um, I, it was a little darker I think than I intended it to be. So I used some transtent and then some some gel stain. But it, you know it's fine. I, I like I say it's fine. I, I may have gone a little lighter if I were to go back and do it again. I did come back with even a darker gel stain and hit some of the corners to try and give it sort of an aged, uh, weathered look. I don't really know how much that added. It was an idea that was, you know, fun to play with. But, there we go. So, chisel holder. First of several um, tool holders to go into a future uh, tool rack or a tool wall. But thanks for watching.